Uh, today we will look at how to complete a, a shared PE. The first step is to log into the Trace NT website. Uh, to create a shed on Trace NT, select Certificate, the shed further, on, further down the page, so you select that. Uh, the first thing you have to do when you're creating a shed is uh, to uh, select the CN code. So you need to know the CN code. So in this example, you can see uh, it's Misha Bovine Animals, Fresh or Chilled, and the CN code is 020110. So you click the, the box on the right-hand side of the page. For box 1.1, uh, the name of the consigner is entered. It's the natural or legal person dispatching the consignment. Uh, details of frequently used consigners can be selected using the star button. Uh, in box I.6, the consigner or importer is entered. Uh, this is the natural or legal person to, the, to whom the consignment is destined in the EU. And the next box is displayed is box I.4. Uh, this is the border, border control post of entry. So if your consignment, or, consignment is entering through the to Dublin port, the Dublin port is chosen. Uh, other options available in Ireland are uh, Ch Dublin Airport and Shannon Airport. And Rosslear will also be uh, designated BCP at a later stage. Uh, details of the health search uh, accompanying the consignment must be entered in box I.9. The company documents uh, this must include uh, the unique, the unique uh, number of the health search, the date of issue, and the country of the health search. In box I.10, um, Estimated arrival date and time time of entry uh, to the BCP is is indicated on this uh, in this box. As I previously said, uh, this must be at least twenty four hours before arrival, or the shed must be completed at least twenty four hours before the consignment arrives at the BCP. Uh, for box five point thirteen, um, the means of transport. This is the means of transport of the consignment. Arriving at the BCP. So for a, for a vessel, say a container arriving on a vessel, vessel is selected, and the vessel name and number is entered. Uh, box I fourteen. This is the country of dispatch. Uh, you indicate the, the country where the goods were placed on board. The means of final transport. Uh, for box I seventeen, information on the container and seal numbers is in is entered if the consignment arrives in a container. With a seal. And box I 18, this cert certified as or for, uh, select the intended use of the goods or category as specified in the official certificate. In box I 19, uh, tick conforming when goods comply with the rules entering into the into uh, the EU. Uh, for internal market, uh, this is the selection uh, used. If the goods are intended to be placed on the union market, other options are also available here. Uh, the criteria for these are described in the various guides, but for today we're just doing uh, or just speaking about regular imports into the EU. And box I31, uh, details of the consignment are entered in here. Uh, this reflects the information in the health cert. Uh, the establishment of origin must be entered, and this must be also on the EU's approved list of establishments. Uh, when you have finished entering all of the information, you click the Submit for Decision button on the bottom of the page. So it's, it's a blue button, as you can see here, bottom right-hand corner. Uh, an order message will appear if any information is missing. Uh, there's also an option um, available, and it's called uh, Copy as New. And it's, it'll appear once on, you click the, the, the More button on the bottom of the, the page for creating a shed P. Uh, this function can be used to create another shed with similar details. Uh, however, the specific details on the consignment will have to be entered. So once you log into the Trace MT page, you will see this, a page like this. You click Certificates on the row of uh, buttons on the, near the top of the page. Then you click Shed. And to create a new shed, you click the green Create New Shed button. And this is where you click the CN code. So we need to know the CN code. So for this consignment, uh, we were choosing uh, Misha Bovine Animals with the uh, CN code 020110. 
once you've select, select, selected your uh, CN code, you click the green done button. As you saw in the images in the slides, this is how the information is displayed on the TraceMT page. So in summary, uh, imports must decide who their RFC will be. Uh, they must register for TraceMT by going to the gov.ie agriculture website. Uh, guides for creating sheds can be found on the Commission's Traces website. Uh, you will need a veterinary uh, health certificate. You will need to create a shed P 24 hours before the consignment's arrival in the BCP. Uh, documents will need to be submitted through the import portal. As I previously said, there's a webinar available on this process. Um, then the consignment will need to be presented to the BCP for inspection. Thank you. That's the, the end of the presentation. If you have any, any questions, just please let us know.